All right then. Hey guys, let me try again to get a uh, pathologic going. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and let this happen, and I cannot click outside of this because then it all goes to shit. We've tried this a few times already. Um, but yes, uh, pathologic classic HD remastered version. I am playing that. Because there was a bit of a goof. Traces um, of the supernatural I'll reveal up. themselves I'll more often later. than intelligent and reasonable men would prefer them to. Chimeras, worshipped by our ancestors centuries ago, crawl back into the light from ancient times. The directors of our fate rain ash down on us from the grey heavens. They conceal themselves beneath us above us and among us, staying hidden until we muster up the resolve to meet their malevolent gaze. Having been discovered, they appear in the flesh for a mere moment, and then they expire horribly, wreaking havoc on the world that they rightfully see as their toy. Okay, I think this is just music, so I don't think it matters if I talk about this, but yes. The actual winner of the poll was uh, Pinstripe, which is a much newer game than this. You can kind of see that this is an older game from the uh, graphics. And turns out Pinstripe can only be played in full screen mode. Like, I looked up all kinds of stuff trying to figure out how to do it otherwise and could not find anything. Which means I wouldn't be able to see and interact with the chat, which I don't really want. So until I get a second monitor, Pinstripe's kind of off the menu. And Pathologic was the runner-up, so I went ahead with this one. And it also only played in full screen mode, but luckily because it's an older game, uh, it had a kind of quick fix you could do where you can go into the coding and kind of trick it into being not, um, interpreter, uh, full screen. So that's what I've done. So I can see the chat. I can't talk with them. Um, I can't really click out of the screen though. So if something is up with, uh, OBS, please let me know. Cause I can't click over to it to check my settings without pathologic freaking out. Uh, let's make sure subtitles. Okay. There's no subtitle button. No subtitle button. Okay. Um, I'm just going to assume this is a weird old timey town or modern day Russia. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, it's definitely an intro. Definitely some an intro. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and ooh, so art for a second. So it's all about trickery to you. Wherever have you come I from? Know. No, no. I detest trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception. Our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, it's a great muscular question. contraction is there. Things are already inside. A fictional European this area must for be one of the ventricles right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us there. free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers and justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo Adhibe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever cloaks. You will act justly, but your justice will blind <laughs> the you. the first version of him ever my god, Orm. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside. Both. Oh shit! 
What did I do? Changeling. This character is only unlocked after you finish the Bachelors and Hearts 60. So they call upon the Menku, the faithful of the Warding Kin, known by their hands. For they are butchers, known by their eyes. For they are surgeons who follow the lines. They who are the leaders of the kin. They who speak in herders. Character such Maybe. I, I didn't mean to do that. I was just fucking around trying to see if I could open doors. Um, this is the story of a person who is evil. Avoided the contagion. Bachelor. I guess that's like easy mode and we're gonna play on this. Can I? Shit. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I didn't want to skip all that dialogue that was happening. Okay, here. So it's we'll, all we'll about start over, to you. and I won't Wherever have you come be from? stupid this no. time. No, no, I detest trickery. No, Wait, no plot skipping this time. Are to suffer deception. Our hands Wait, this are is no an longer old tied. game, so uh, Where expect it to be a little well, janky. The muscular contraction is there. Names are already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles right here. What a silly a heart. place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? <laughs> Take two. I yep. don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. There's a door. Those who favor hard logic try a and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers, and justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo Adhibe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever clogs. You She's will act just, but your justice will blind you and become his demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside, both of you. Your gentle hands are used to killing not giving life. You will inevitably do harm. As for Brainy, he has no regard for casualties at all. Neither of you knows compassion. Yes, it seems unlikely yeah, I, that we'll get along they, well. They talk about but ventricles, but then they talk about Any being choice trapped. Is right, as long as it's will. It, it sounds like the truth of the matter. Only the heart will show you the right choice. Stop thinking about yourselves. Think of the I don't sick. know what's going on. He's in pain. I can't see it yet, but I can feel it. It's not even a trap. It's a grave. So we yeah. Again, this is a very can't old game I from what I understand. For it. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? But you will. Yeah, Working compared through, to Transistor, this is a far happen. step in but quality. I can avoid it. No, we won't ever get along. I suggest we be on our way. The sooner the better. Off we go then. Let's go. The clock is ticking. We going somewhere? Where are we going? Guys? Okay, I think this is the point. Because, yeah, everything's dark except this, so I was probably supposed to go here. And interact with it now. So, uh, yeah. The history of humanity witnessed a number of catastrophes that have demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement, the triumph of invincible evil, outbreaks of infection, disease that have from time to time... <laughs> yeah, intermission. Um, that's what it feels like. It feels like we were watching a play, and now the intermission has started. Um, cities map undoubtedly among those. However, smart and virtuous, the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope with the losses. This is the story of a person who's managed to work a miracle 
and defeat a seemingly unvanquishable foe. Okay, and then this person's like all that freaking shit with the can days. Erdergs. Yeah, like, I don't understand. Their demands to use the washroom and get snacks. I could, I could go for some snacks right now. They know the secret art of Haru Spicy. <laughs> what is a Haru Specs? <laughs> Reading the future in entrails, he knows that the body bears semblance of the universe. His scaffold follows the lines of the body, his steps follow the lines of his kin's fortune. A Haru Specs that can tell a true line from a false one is entrusted with power. A Haru Specs who is confused by his path gets buried into the deep black flesh of the earth. This is the story of a person who has avoided the contagion, contradiction, eager to rip his life apart, masterly fulfilling his true purpose and the process. Interesting. Okay, what do you guys think? Bachelor or Haru Specs? I know the secret art of Haru Spicy, or I get to be a person who I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, like what was exactly said. <laughs> I can tell the future from entrails, guts, dear my child. The guts say this child will die. Oh my god, Orm. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's kind of how they make it sound, that like, being the future from entrails, but it's like talking about the body. I guess, it, I feel like this is like easy, medium, hard, so I'll go with easy. Daniil Dankowski, a Bachelor of Medicine, was brought here by circumstances most unfortunate. That sounds very Russian. Dankowski's life work. His theory challenging the existing notions of human mortality is being harshly persecuted by the powers right that be. Suddenly, you know, a letter area. arrives from a colleague suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. <laughs> I must love the murderous Grasping at straws entrance. of hope, Dankowski decides oh to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan and stays at her place till dawn. Uh, he works fast, man. Eva. Okay, what, am I the Ah, I'm that guy. I think. I have no idea what's going on. But that guy has a nice coat. I wonder that too, because yeah, that, that's, that was an image that kind of popped up. Uh, are all these people just sitting in their house listening to the footsteps as I walk by through their town on a road? Because that's like, A, how thin are your walls? And B, how boring is your life? Ass buttons on my coat. Being a cosplayer has ruined me because everything I watch. Is that snake skin? Does he like fucking. Oh my god, what? What is this chick wearing? There goes the vague Russian area theory. That was definitely not big. Why snake skin? Fun fact, I heard hear you walking down the road. Her town only has one street. Okay, um... As of today, my mission remains obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the very foundation of modern phantology and 
is challenge the existent notion of death itself. However, even if this undying leviathan proves to be more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of his existence won't suffice to prevent the powers that be from shutting our laboratory down. I need to figure out the most fruitful approach. Simon is a well-respected man, and if he mistakes my interest for Ephraim Tree, oh my god, I'm gonna need to get out of the thesaurus just to play this game. And I use this, the chicks and weird mummy role playing. Oh my gosh. Uh, it would be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. What's. Okay. Okay. What do I do? Yes? Okay, day one. By the end of the. Which the bachelor finds himself battling an ugly and vanquishable foe. Well, way to, like, you know, hype me up. And, uh, if you're wondering about... Apparently my mission is to find out why this guy won't die, so that way we can convince people to fund my research into not dying. I think. I honestly don't know. Can I pick up or interact with any of this shit? People are trees. Um, yeah, I don't think I can interact with any of this. Oh, sweet. I can check my status. I have no infection, which is good. Can I, can I, nope. Uh, I don't, <laughs> yeah, just go to bed, woke up. <laughs> Vanquishable foe, damn this pickle jar. Oh, okay, um. I have a weapon, a scalpel, lovely, and I have a thousand four hundred and thirty coin. Okay. Trees. I cannot walk through that curtain. Nope, that is not a hidden door that I can open. Challenge one, are the inescapable foe. Getting out of your room. <laughs> Where the fuck do I go? I can't jump on the table. Are you s nope. This is gonna be a great, great stream of me stuck in this room with no idea how- Oh hey, here's a door. Okay, I found the door. Mission one, success. Okay, I can't interact with that. I can't jump on that. Oh, it's this chick. You see something you don't, don't like? I think my colors have faded. There's something wrong with your arms. Are those gloves? It's so quiet around now. <laughs> Journal entry day four. I'm still trapped in my room. There's so much shit in the corner and I ate three shoes. <laughs> Bitch, you don't have a door either. Oh, I could sleep in her bed. Um, but let's just try to interact with her. I've seen the angel of death by the window. Lovely! Okay then, sweetness. I had a feeling you would come. You do not look like your picture. Did the sounds from outside wake you up too? There was a terrible groan, and then something snapped loudly. Also, this is why, um, the, uh, fucking, um, camera is where it's at, because I noticed when I was looking at, like, stuff from the game that it had this, like, top bar and a bottom bar, so I tried to place it where it would be in between them. Clearly I failed, but we're not going to fix that. Because if we do, I will have to restart the whole game, and it sucks. <laughs> do you think my colors have faded? Well, you are flashing. Yep. Uh, no, I heard nothing. I fell asleep quickly. I didn't even notice. It's like I fainted. So what are you talking about? Let's try to get her talking. Also, do you have wooden arms? 
I think there are strangers in the backyard by the pond. They're unlikely to be playing mischief, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid to go out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. I'd like to thank you for your hospitality, for board and bed. Why do you think they aren't playing anything foul? I mean, I do want to be thankful, but... Why? Our population is so thin, crime is basically non-existent, especially here in the stone yard. Sometimes That's why I can walk around like this without having a problem. Sometimes there are pranks, of course. Fights happen occasionally. People are young here, so they go, often go out at night. But we're a tight community, and now we hear unfamiliar speech. That's not a good sound. I'll go out and take a look. But I'm in a hurry. I must see this founding father of yours. Are you willing to trade the company of a fascinated woman for the uh, that of a dreadful old man, even if he is a sorcerer? That's so sad. But Simon won't go anywhere. He is, he has always been, he always will be. Well, this is sounding cultish already. Our population is so thin ever since the great population purge of 92. Yeah. Ever since we became a cult and had habitual sacrifices, uh, even if the moon were to fall to the ground, please stay with me a little longer. Simon is a sorcerer. Did I hear you right? Is that the secret to his longevity? I couldn't even imagine the hospitality here, but who is waiting for me? I didn't notify old person. I'm not even sure what made me take off for this place. We don't know cult, but I'm feeling cult. <laughs> and also, hey, Regula, welcome to the stream. All right, this one's... In, I, Ask questions, or... I don't know what exactly he's trying to say with this one. I couldn't even imagine the hospitality here. Okay, so he's saying he, when he was coming in, he couldn't imagine how hospitable they were going to be. But who was, who was waiting for me? I didn't notify old of my arrival. I'm not even sure what made me take off at this place. Let's go ahead and ask this one, because, again, I try to avoid the plot. Lori is the messenger writing ahead of the man. A celebrity from the capital, Bachelor Devonsky, the founder of Fantic... Fantic... Fanatica. There we go. The man who challenges death. Of course we heard of you. This glory is undeserved, but I hope that getting to know your ruler will give me a chance to live up to the expectations. Um, death. So that's the enemy you've chosen for yourself. Well, no wonder I have to face an inescapable or, like, insurmountable or what, invincible enemy. If death is my enemy, then yeah, that one's pretty hard to overcome. Isn't it hard? I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil yet. No. Well, Jesus. But millions of doctors defeated it on singular occasions. But my enemy is more fearsome. It is death itself rather than a singular case of death. My enemy is inevitable. I am challenging... Well, both of these sound kind of the same. You fight death at the Low Sub Graveyard? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I challenge the first nations. But my, it is death itself. I mean. Okay, let's go with the top one. Yeah, which death was the enemy? I don't understand. I can barely understand it myself. Could death only see- I used too many big words for her. Also, I think she's high as all get out because she's just like, Oh, look at all the colors, man. Um, could death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality be nothing more than a whim of the will that shaped the world? That is the question, so here is the key to my victory. Show me where Simon lives. I've already confused her. Let's, let's go full into this. I think her neck broke. <laughs> yeah, it's looking a little slanty. <laughs> it's not far. The Canes live at the Crucible in Bridge Square. Oh, I guess I was asking where Simon was. I just said it poetically in the top one. I thought I was maybe being flirty, but I could... Uh, go on. Simon has two younger brothers. The eldest of the two, Gregory, is called the judge by the locals. Visit him first if uh, he is 
This is him first. He isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest of the three is Victor. His daughter Maria also wanted to see you. It's probably important. Was it she who knew about my arrival beforehand? Uh, yes. She told me about it privately. Talking with her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. Seriously, what is up with her exp And now you're smiling weirdly. You gotta love old game facial expressions. Why no eye contact? It's rude! She puts on airs, but that's just how the queens are. It was Maria who told me she would help you defeat death. That's... The precise wording. What a coincidence. He's called the judge by local. He's actually the town drunk. <laughs> or there's something seal interesting on her ceiling. Maybe. All right. Thank you for the advice. Go, and I'll prepare everything for your return. Do come back after you speak to the kings. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. If you have some advice that may be... I will have some advice that may be a help to you if you need it. Okay, I'll come back. It is unlikely that I'll stay here long. I will... I'll come back. Because, you know, you gotta get some, yourself some of that hot piece of ass. Oh boy. Okay, the cathedral. Different places I can go. The polyhedron. Lovely. Uh... None of these are interesting. The crucible. The manor of Victor Kane, Simon Kane's brother. The mysterious Maria, Victor Kane's daughter, has been expecting my arrival for several days. She seems to know more about me than I do. Uh, the Crucible, the mansion of Gregory Kane, Simon Kane's brother, Simon Kane, the man of improper, the man of improper longevity. <laughs> Go to the cathedral, stop the cult at its roots. I know, right? Just cut it all off at the pass. I hope he sympathizes with my request. I only need to like. Mysterious Maria. Mansion of Victor. Mansion of Maria. Sure, fuck it, let's go do this one. How, how do I... What do I, how... I would like to know buttons, please. Where is your front door? Okay, it's over here. Okay, so I think that was just the map. Okay, we're gonna go back inside now. No, 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 no. Do not pull me into your weird, freaky BDSM sex thing. I'm not into you like that. Okay. All right, let's do this thing. Venerable Batragian. Please be so kind as to linger for a moment. This conversation won't take too much of your time, especially since time stops during dialogues. Wow, okay, very self-aware. And I did wonder about that. Is this gonna eyes wide shut? Sex cult? I do not even know what that is, and I kind of think I don't want to. Um, at least during the important ones, and our dialogue is extremely important. You need to know how to play after all, don't you? Okay, this is Tutorial Guy! You've heard of Shy Guy? Now get ready for Tutorial Guy, his older freaky cousin. Play? What are you talking about, Mask Man? I'm neither gambler or an actor. Who are you? Some other time to stranger. Yeah, who are you? I'm sorry, but that that's like number one on my book. A poor tragian. Is that like a comedian, but sad? If you please. A victim of circumstances just like you. You're mistaken. I am a director and the person in charge of the situation. I am not a random actor. Um, sure, okay, let's go with that because I don't want to exit out of talking with him. I want him to tell me how to play. Of course you aren't. You are the living, breathing man, as is I am a living, breathing woman. 
As it's evident from your condition and statuses, you experience hunger, thirst, and fatigue. Oh god, it's gonna be one of those games. You suffer from pain, wounds, and disease. You are so lifelike. You have to eat, drink, sleep, and rest, and also make mistakes. This is gonna be... <laughs> Tutorial guy, shy guy's older, naked, burnt cousin. <laughs> yeah! But yeah, this is gonna be a game where I have to watch all my uh, energy and food and shit. Uh, I, these games, they can be fun, but they can also be tedious. A lot of being the most definite proof of human nature. No, I don't. Not me. If I may, I would like to point out just how important it is to keep an eye on your condition. If you get dizzy or unnaturally sluggish, do have it checked up. Vital processes tend to run faster during emergencies than in everyday life. I knew a person who died of stress but was diagnosed with starvation. If someone is good, sir, I can take care of myself. It happens, I can testify to that as a doctor. I'm just gonna be kind of the nice guy who just continuously talks with everyone. Need I remind a wise man like you of the fact that hunger is sated with food? <laughs> if you're hungry, eat food. Game is teaching me some important shit here, guys. Food can be found in shops, and shops can be found in ordinary houses that are marked with specific signs. Sleep, however, is more complicated. People only sleep in beds and only in private residences around here. You know, ha you don't have a hotel or, you know, like a Super 8 or anything? I am sorry, but that's how our world is. Yes, the world is unjust. I should be able to take a nap in the middle of the road, clearly. And quite silly, if you forgive me saying so. Speaking of commerce, different shops sell similar items at different prices. Oh my god, no, I hate that. Make sure you don't get cheated. People can be quite brazen around here. You can also barter with folks out on the street. Ah! Uh, barter and... Uh, I get enough of this in real life, man. I don't need it in a game. Some things may be nothing more than trinkets to you, but others would be willing to part with their life's blood for them. Blood? Can't find a bed, you can always use a nice pile of leaves. I mean, yeah, I've done it as a kid. Now I usually, you know, settle for a hallway in front of my classroom because I'm a, you know, sleepless college student, or at least I was. Uh, yes, blood. It's not my place to lecture you, but if, following your Hippocratic Oath, you ever consider eating someone's pain- Oh, EASING SOMEONE'S PAIN! EATING SOMEONE'S PAIN. The real horror status management. Yes! Okay, no. It, it really is. Feel free to just approach them with a suitable drug. You will see their pain receding before your very eyes. The sick fall asleep when they're close to recovery, don't they? Or when they're close to their ultimate quest. Still, helping the hopeless will grant you a good reputation. You will be seen as a. Man, your pain looks super delicious. God damn it. <laughs> you will be seen as a benefactor willing to part with precious sleeping draught or a painkiller for a simple bystander. Anything else? No, no, not yet. Uh. Show me the ways. Turn left now, then walk along the alley. You will see the cathedral and three mansions across the inside. Thank you. You are very weird. Um, I should go and not waste time. How do, how do I tell my, um... Ah, okay, that button does that. Mission. Yeah, okay. All right, are you tutorial guys, you know, brother? Tragedy is the new Siri. Halt, I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting, the time and the place. It is not essential. 
But that's how, just how it is. The actor has to be prepared before he goes on stage, or else he'll fall down the aisle or stumble upon the prop box. That would look mighty silly, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Who are you? I'm an actor in a tragic mime show. Executor! Holy moly! Uh, mime show. That is unimportant, but you listen to me or not. I am listening. Time flies by. It can't be stopped or turned back. Nights follow days, which are then followed by nights. Things happen without any regard for whether you're there to witness them. Don't expect anyone to wait for you. Most events can be missed. Okay guys, so I've played quite a few games since I started doing the streaming thing and I, I've really enjoyed almost like every single one of them. There's been some where I enjoyed them way more, but I would say I've enjoyed every game I've played on this stream. I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> it's... It, they're just laying it right on me in the beginning that this is the kind of game I do not like. I do not like missable events that, you know, if I'm just not in the right place at the right time, I'm gonna fuck up. I do not like different shops having the same items for different prices, so... You know what? Outlast is, is interesting, you know? I, I enjoyed having the experience of streaming it, and then repressing all my memories of it. No, um... It, it was actually fun. Like, in a horrifying, awful, stressful way. Uh, this is not the fun stressful, I don't think it's gonna be. Because, you know, the price thing. So I constantly have to check all the stores for the prices. Which wastes time that I then proceed to miss events at. And then there's the whole, um... Having to take care of yourself with food, drinks, and stuff like that. Because that's also stuff that's gonna make me take time that I will then miss events in. So, you may see me get very crotchety as this game progresses, and I may- this may be the first game I actually freaking rage quit if I just cannot handle it. So, uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm just warning you ahead of time that this game is basically just going up to me and being like, you know all the things you hate about games? That's what this game is! I don't expect the way for you, that's your best. And so, let's rage with JJ. No, no, this is gonna be- this is gonna be me getting more sullen and angry and just paved and yeah, I'm- I, I don't yell when I get angry, I just- I get just annoyed. <sighs> and so, it would make sense for you to visit the places that you care about regularly. You'll find the people that will play play major roles in your fate there. They stand out from the common folk, the rest are just a crowd shot, a background, a bunch of extras. All of it? There are microtransactions? Oh, that would be, yeah, that would be the one last thing that would just make this game the, the pants. Let's pee, which you know. Indeed, it is still best to avoid hasty judgment. It's a paradox, you see. Don't try to care too much for the lives of these bound to stand out people. And don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. Both extremes will end in tragedy. Yay! This world cares for your reputation. A fine and crucial- oh, I have reputation too? Crucial instrument. Your reputation changes the world you see, for it is a mirror. Wouldn't you agree? And so bad reputation can get you into a lot of trouble. Oh, need I describe? You've got a vivid imagination. Everything changes from mystical aspects to mundane. Things like people you need threatening you badly. How many enemies you've got. How high the prices rise. Ah, how bad your dreams are. Lots of things. Sorry, Prospect. So how do I maintain my reputation? The game. It looks like you're missing some events. How about paying five dollars to worry about that? <laughs> I- I'm just kind of glad I got this game on sale because, um... I didn't have it yet, um, but it was on my wish list and basically I have a few games that I put up for vote 
And then I have games that are on my wish list that I put up for vote and I pay for if they get voted on. And so I did that with Pinstripe and I saw this was on sale for like 75%. So if you want to get this for yourself, it is on sale right now for like 75%. Um, which means I think it came to like being three bucks, so I'm glad, you know, if I'm gonna hate this game, I didn't spend too much on it. Uh, really, how is that even a question? Same as anywhere. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not betray, do not steal, do not covet, covet, covert, covet. Just kill me. <laughs> do not be an asshole. I don't remember that one being a commandment, but you know what? Fuck it. That's actually probably something that should have been added to the Bible. Do not get caught. Okay, that's completely different from everything you were saying before. The rules are the same everywhere. A truly selfless deed, like risking something for thy neighbor or even a person who lives quite far away, can help in a dire situation. Really? Good for you then. As for me, I can't see anything in this mask. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> anyway, don't get too worked up about human lives. And don't put too much stock in another's words, mine included. He who trusts everyone is asking to be deceived. He who trusts no one is deluded. I know from experience. Um... Sure, let's go with this middle one. Oh, you, you bitch. I wasn't done talking with you. Talk with me! Ah, you fuck! Okay, well, we're wasting twilight. Um, you, man. You are not talkable. How about man? Woman? Young man. Okay, uh... Good morals and luck are a great help in managing small community without resorting to violence. Personal standing can work wonders. No, it's pie in the sky. Sorry, I can't help feasting my eyes in your outfit. Who was the mad tailor? It was part of the Ten Commandments director's cut, the Fifteen Commandments. Okay, that's actually really funny because there were originally Fifteen Commandments and then like Moses dropped one of the tablets and when he raged, quit the Israel. <laughs> like he was coming out with the uh, 15 and then he saw they converted to worshipping the golden calf and was like just Fuck this nonsense threw down one of them. So we only we did lose five commandments I'm sure do not be an asshole was literally one of them what do You mean I like our town. We're one big family, but sometimes I get the feeling that we're controlled by an unseen power our actions but fiction This game is too aware. It's quite possible. All right, you have fun. I'm lost. Uh, that looks like a pharmacy. Is there a way to bring up the map? Sweet. Okay. Oh, that's where I am. All right, we were in the right route. Uh, Rainbow Stillwater, Logs to a Girl, an accidental midnight encounter provided me with a lovely companion to the lodging. They are so banging. All right. Don't want to miss those missable events. Let's get going. Sorry, but I have no time to talk with you background characters. Your dress is lovely, but your bosoms stand out too much. Whose house is this? No one importance. Um, I want to go to no, let me go. this person's house. Cannot jump that. Alright, this person's house. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Nice tree. Hello? Eat your food. Lovely stuff. Aha! Who is you? However brilliant an action, it Gregory. should not be esteemed great unless the result is a great motive. <laughs> to Joe Cosplayer, Twitch streamer, fashion critic. <laughs> Most venerable doctor, it is with great impatience that we have been expecting you. You need not delve into the minute of business with us since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. 
we are also quite aware of the difficulties you were experiencing and well prepared to do our utmost to support you. It hurts me all the more to be the one to inform you that Simon, my brother, the creator, kept has been murdered. Well, there goes me figuring out the secrets of immortality by examining this guy that won't die, because he is dead. Game over. All right, there we go. I managed to beat the game. Record time. Sweetness. Uh, it's, I, I beat it in failure, but, you know. An insulter of home decor. Hey, I said it was lovely. I didn't mean it, but... <laughs> I can't believe it. It cannot be true. Damn it. Why did I have to trust for a Why does have a chance to prevail? Who did it? Alright. My brother was murdered last night under the strangest circumstances, but for all of the mystery surrounding his death, I'd rather eschew the notion that his departure was connected with whoever had visited Simon that evening. The visitor is a man of laudable res rect rectitude and an old friend of our family. There are witnesses to testify that he and Simon did nothing but converse. Who was the visitor? Also, who do you think Simon could have died of natural death? Sure, let's go along with their assumption that there was murder. Someone you know quite well. The man who my brother was your colleague, Isidore Burka. I don't know this person. Don't don't put this on me. I don't know him. Was he not the very person to advise you to come here as well? Maybe. I would have told you that I had been part of that idea eight months ago. I know this man that was. Let's go with yes. Um Hmm, Isidore has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is used uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What do you think? What? What? <laughs> Simon has been murdered. You missed it by just a few minutes. Almost like you were trapped in your room for some time. I would be so pissed. Categories like time, nature, and fate deprive man of responsibility for what goes on around him. I was bored. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Also, my eyes are down here, buddy. It's just like looking off the top of my head. It could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that uh, your arrival was no coincidence. I mean, no, it wasn't. I Apparently I got brought here by this Isidore guy. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote you, wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Uh, really? I love looking at your scalp. I mean, it, it's a great scalp. <laughs> it would look lovely on their dining room chairs. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they're all thinking. Because again, I still am thinking cult. Uh, even though we were uncertain of when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. The tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has taken a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon which your position here depended. It is doubly regrettable that Simon was playing on your side. So what, are they gonna kill me now because Simon's dead and I, I showed up to town? Why why would people not like me? I just showed up and this woman wanted to bang me so I stopped at her place instead of coming straight here. So you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed its... Oh, the queen, not... Maybe, I, I think it's definitely he's kind of got one eye squinting while the other one's open thing going on. Hmm. So that may be it. Bring the queen new the blow and sacrifice itself for a pawn, but why? Is there anything I can do to help? There we go. Someone's dead. Is there anything I can do to help? I am a doctor. Do you want to help us, doctor? Find the murderer for us. My brother Victor, who is in the wing next door, sh would share some of his thoughts on the matter. Help us and the reward will not disappoint you. Indeed. I need to go and get my act together. I suspect you are not aware that these developments render my whole life work null and void. <laughs> Damn! 
Your brother's murder can just as well be called the murder of Bachelor Dolinsky. I will help you in every way I can. Stop making it about you, Bachelor! This dude's brother died, and he may have been- Okay, he's looking at me and I feel uncomfortable. Go back to looking at my scalp now. Thank you. Um, God. So, like, this guy's brother just died, and even though he may have been impossibly old for the time, it's still, like, you know, that, that, that shit is serious. Don't be a dick. Let's go with that one. I am convinced that if there is anyone at all that can help us solve this puzzle, that it is you. The person who just arrived and has no idea about anything in town. <laughs> ah, yes. Game logic. This mission calls for someone as astute and inventive as yourself. If Isidore was an instrument of fate, then Simon's murder is a message that fate intended for you personally. Do not think I am inclined to blame you for that. Do not think I am inclined to blame you for that. I am not. Why? Why would... <sighs> How do you plan to look for the murderer? We're gonna just ignore all this, you know, blaming me for a murder I wasn't even in town for and go straight to talking about this shit. <laughs> we will take our own measures. The only thing I expect from you is to be yourself. Do only what you think is required. Whatever you find out, whatever you do, whatever your day turns into, everything is a clue to the solution of this puzzle. I repeat, everything that is happening here is happening on your account. You just said you weren't gonna blame me! Why? Why? What? I just showed up, dude! The poor translation was a problem people had with this game. A new translation apparently. Fine, I I'm fine with this course of action. You have no sympathy. Okay, Simon is dead. His brother Gregory is preparing to take the empty throne of the clan's leader. The Canes are obsessed with the idea of fighting the murderer. They don't seem to be driven by rancor, but Alright, um, Let's go. I wrote a note. How do I check my notes? The pursuit of a killer to find out who the killer is. Okay, but we can't waste time. We have to we have to go talk with the other brother from another mother I don't know, maybe from the same mother. Probably from the same mother. This is not a door. Hello, brother number two. Uh, your house is very nice. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, please. Uh... Okay, for a second. There. I fear that Simon's death is a symbolic event. Hmm. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. And to be honest, after what I heard about, you know, certain things. I'm definitely probably not going to spend forever watching or playing this game, like trying to get all the little secret side stuff. Which means, while it's on sale, you should buy it and play it for yourself to find that shit all out. But yeah, um, you, you missed me realizing how much I'm not going to be happy playing this game. The famous Dr. Devonsky, you're- oh yeah, we arrived at this guy who- who's a mortal's place to find the secrets of immortality, and he's dead. That's what you've missed. And now, it's all our fault, and we have to find the murderer. <laughs> your arrival is a great honor to Victor Kane at your service. Daniel Dorinsky at yours. I know nothing of this game, I just know that Pompous Pickle likes it. And so I thought it would be, you know, like, pretty cool, but she also likes Metal Gear, and, uh, so this is the, maybe the first game she made. Yeah, this may be the first game I rage quit. Like, I have had games where I've gotten frustrated, but I've gotten through them. This one might be the first one where I'm like, fuck this shit. Uh, but we'll see. I foresee that the things that have been, uh, da da 
I foresee that the things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. Lovely! I would like to compensate for that impression. You know, our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. Okay, yeah, I should say don't worry, but yeah. Pickle's a huge fan of this game. That is very intricate. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an intricate type of person. I'm a button-mashing barbarian type of person. I mean, the traditions. Games that we play with passion will most likely be of no interest to you. Yeah, uh, Pickle, who is the reason I either know about this game existing, is a huge Metal Gear fan, and she's the one who got uh, Theo actually playing it. It's one of those games that didn't do well at launch, but became a cult classic. I think it's one of those books or movies that is supposed to change your life and make you think. One of those good games that no one has played type things. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm about to play it, and I'm... It's, Let's see if it changes my life by inducing in endless amounts of rage or actually making me think about shit. Type of thing I'm not rushing out to read watch. Yeah. Well, now you can watch me stumble through it, make bad jokes, and, you know, not getting looked at in the eyes. Okay, actually, never mind. Don't look at me in the eyes. You just looked at me in the eyes, and it was much better when you were looking at me in the scalp. Again. <laughs> I need to, like, stop asking for things, because when I get it, it's awful. The people you meet here may seem eccentric, naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please take it easy on us. Don't judge us too strictly. I will do the best. I need to know what I disappoint you. What do you trust? So does that, is that, is that why there were two guys standing outside that one chick's place looking like they got lost on their way to a BDSM sex dungeon? Anyone who looks at your scalp or gives you weird looks. Yeah. Who is it walking upstairs? How can I help you? Uh, the evil glares are come to their eyes. Better high off their asses because that one Eva Yan or somebody looked really blazed. Georgery has told me everything, which is to say he's told me very little, but that was enough to astound me. He maintains that you can provide a more detailed account. So you have agreed to help us? I have. May I ask why? The killer's gold seem to align astonishingly well with the goals of those who've been waging war against their work for years. We share a tragedy. I want to exact vengeance upon the one who robbed me of my work in the future. Don't make it about you! Bachelor, come on! This guy's brother just died! I want to solve a puzzle, even... I even like having some information. No. Do not make a game out of his brother's death. That's just wrong, man. <sighs> I guess this one, because the other two are just so pompous and like, oh my god, it's all about me, even though it's your brother who's dead. I am prepared to answer any questions you may have. When was Simon last seen? Alright, let's get to the nitty gritty. He sent Isidore home. Right, that's the guy who asked me to come. I was like, I know that name. Then, at an... An hour later, he came to this hall to see us. He announced his plans to withdraw to the focus and receive no one. He told us not to approach the focus and to fast for a week, partaking of neither meat nor water. Then in the morning, he was found dead. Well, that's your first problem. You, He told you not to come, and then you came the next day. He was like, don't be here for a week. Clearly, oh my god. God, please stop smiling. Anyways. Yeah, our name is Daniel Dalvinsky, but we get labeled as Bachelor Dalvinsky. And I think we've already gotten laid. I'm pretty sure we're boning the lady we're staying at house owner person. Um, But yeah, so clearly the secret to immortality is that he, like, dies and then resurrects himself, you know, kind of Jesus style. And so you guys moved the boulder before the three days were up, and that's why everything went wrong. Moral of the story, we're all horrible people here, probably. Um, how was he found? Could he have been poisoned? Why no meat or water? 
The servants discovered him in the morning. The room had been ransacked. Everything that was breakable had been broken. His disfigured, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted, his spine broken. I think no one has touched the body. It is currently inside the focus or remain there for the prescribed amount of time. Suicide. Yep, definitely suicide. Uh, I legit think that's one aspect of the game. Do you suspect anyone? What is the focus? What is this focus place? Let's... I want to ask more, but I also want to keep on track. <laughs> no. All I know is that Isidore was with him that evening. No one can enter the focus against Simon's well. Well, perhaps a higher being could, but no one else could. Could the murderer have already been waiting for Simon? Yeah. No, you have no concept of what the focus is. Entering it, it's like entering someone's mind, or drawn picture, if you will. It's impossible. What is the focus? Let's not... Um, at least that was what told me. Yep. Um, about it for over an hour. I, I believe it, because Pickle has great taste in really interesting games that are really, really hard to play. And so I know, uh... It's between a pretzel and a Jenga tower. Oh my god. Or um, we could touch him. One wrong move and he collapsed. <laughs> okay, it's hard to explain. In his study, if you will, an extraordinary spacious creative laboratory. Almost perfectly sealed off, except the door that was visible at all times, metaphorically speaking. I don't understand. The first true thing I've said this day, whole day is like an equation or a mirror puzzle. <laughs> anyway, the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon did get in there somehow. He could perform far more impressive feats. That's the reason why the whole town revered... I mean, revered him. Okay. All right, so how can I help you? Tell me honestly, did, did Simon exist at all? Oh, damn! <laughs> no, we're not playing the it's all in your head game just yet. Just take a look around. Trust your intuition. Do whatever you like. Speak to whoever you feel the need to. Look for the murderer, doctor, and you will find them. Keep looking till the last breath. I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. So Isidore is the only lead. How can I find him? I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, whoever they are, could not be an ordinary person. It was a suicide! It only looked like a murder. It's definitely the most jerky Sherlock Holmes answers I could. Look, I'm trying to be as super on topic, on point as possible. Also, I do know that my event list and my camera are kind of blocking some of the dialogue. I did not really have much of a chance to play around with that. And if I click OBS to fix it right now, which I totally intended to do when I did this, the game would do a weird thing and I could I would have to leave the game, like exit the game and restart it all. So unfortunately, until the end of the stream, that is gonna be there. I will read everything out loud, so hopefully you won't miss anything and I will try to get that fixed for a uh, stream next time. Plot twist, you are Simon. Every time you are close to death, you call for someone to come to town so you can possess them. Oh uh, yeah, that is a pretty good theory, Or. Um, need to refine the the tinfoil hat. <laughs> I can't imagine even whoever they are could not be more an ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could only be fate wearing guise of a mysterious monster. I will be careful. This is where Isidore Berger lives. The man. Damn, that's far away. Where the fuck even is that? God, this place is huge. First block of the dirt. What the fuck? The arbiter. Second block. Oh god! Hospice. Grace's Lounge. This place is freaking huge! Factory building number four. The machine. There's a whole fucking swamp? Oh god! Okay, so I'm here. I need to go down the main street, cross the bridge, go down that street, and then... 
Where the fuck? Why is he so far away? Oh my god. He's so far away. So far. This is gonna be more frustrating. Okay, so I'm gonna go out the back door, take this and then head down this way, head up that way, and just keep pushing towards this, then head... Alright. Prepare to see this map a lot, because fuck if I'm gonna be able to... Um, my gentle associate is quiet. You guys can see this for yourself. I'm gonna read everything, because I'm already starting to get, like, a little... throat dry. And it doesn't help that I have a bit of a sinus issue going on. So if I sound a little funny, can I pick that up? Nope. That is why. Nope. Alright, so I could go straight to Isidore's, which might be smart. Nah, I'm good for now. But probably at some point soon. I will take a break to go grab myself some water. Did I just find two fucking coin walking around? People just leaving their money out. Alright, broken mirrors again. Another very interesting- oh, hello- oh, wow! Like someone's looking at us from the other side. Do you realize your dress has nipples? The Sabarov's wait is over. They've always wanted an heir. You resemble an adventurer rather than a doctor. Um, how is it that you know me? Who are you? I'm an adventurer. Appearances can deceive me. How is it that you know me? I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you take us all by the throat. What else did you see in the dream? I'll tell you when I think I can trust you. I hope that happens What? Soon. Um... No, no, sometimes, like, she's sort of almost making eye contact. <clears throat> mm. Now listen closely. The time for collusion, secrets, and alliances has come. <laughs> she's reading her lines on the sign behind you. I could believe that, because I'm, I'm sorry, but the female voice actors for this are not very good. All of these faces are just creepy enough. Sorry. It's fine. I can't word either. And my hair keeps tickling my nose! I'm going to ask something of you. I'm not used to that. I used to- I'm used to holding the reins, but you are not harnessed. So it would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. I find solace in the fact that my request will be welcome with you. It fits the style of your venture. Let me show this adventure. Don't be rude, dude. I, yeah, I think she's a dominatrix. That would explain the outfit. Um, I'm not an adventurer. My job is no adventure. I hope it never becomes one. I apologize if my words come across all as mangled and silly. I am truly not used to asking. But the nature of my request demands complete selfless humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling. And believe me, I do feel that way. No need to kneel, what do you want to talk about? Come on, dude. Be professional. Keep it in your pants. Um, today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score of irreplaceable victims. Soon their numbers will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when the lines of their fortune cross yours. Before any of them dies, there will be a moment when you will be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. Okay, so I want to say how will I know? Like, how will I be able to intervene or how will I know that? But I think I'll, it, what it says when it's saying how is that whether she knows that. So I'm going to go ahead and ask who are these people. That doesn't matter. What was destined to happen will happen. You can be whatever you want to be, but not a coward choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. 
I will give you a list of those I know. These people are bound to you. What the hell is going on here? You trying to flirt with me? Uh, have you seen what face she's making? That's not a flirt face. That's a really not flirt face. Yeah. Let's just go with bound. Oh god, the smiling's not really any better. Is, is, it her, is it her expression changing based off what I say? Welcome to JJ Ignore's side quest and gets everyone murders. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Um, there is a tight spring of power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence and become something greater. They are standing on the verge of their humanity, gazing into the realm where they could sit, serve a different, higher purpose without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to make the leap in one way or another. That is why we call them the Bound. That doesn't make any sense to me. But how is their fate bound in mind? Didn't you say victory depending on them? How? When and how are these people supposed to die? Yeah, let's go with the uh, people are dying. Let me know how to fix that. I'm a doctor. Bound to die. No need to shy away from it. That is also implied. I didn't answer my question, Maria. How and when will they die? I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future isn't as clear to me as I would prefer, but I can feel the present. I, I can already distinguish a dubious guess from the pulse of the precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you. Your lives are connected. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. Uh, I'm just going to shut your head. You need to go to your senses. Are you clever? Let's not be rude. Um... No, you are not the only one who's lost. I'm very lost. See? See? Ethan feels like this is some cult shit. Sacrifice of cult shit. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yes. You haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone may be unaware of my abilities. No one here dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every th ruling house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transform the present. The mistress of every ruling house? Like... What? Okay. This fact offers your words a different degree of authenticity. Forgive me, I do not believe in this type of phenomenon. I don't like any of these answers. Sure, fuck it, let's be polite. Will you comply with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I named you? Answer me before going back to Eva. I wasn't going back to Eva, but all right, if it's truly within my power, I will do my best to save their lives. How, I... How do you know that Eva had asked me to come back? No, Maria, I need to get back to the capital as soon as possible. I always follow my principles. It doesn't matter which lines. We'll try our best. Less a little lesson. Let that be a lesson. Married women get superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she believes that you gain psychic powers by being mistress of a house, and then everyone bows before you and you order them around. We have a psychic woman and a mummy girl so far. Yeah. Oh god, it's everyone I've met and people I haven't. Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine, and they may as well hold the keys to my victory in their hands. You're on this list! I think this is seriously everyone I met except for the minor characters I talked to. And wow, that's a portrait. Mark Immortel. Seriously? Seriously? In the game about fighting death, we have Mark Immortel. Stop smiling, please. It's not attractive. Alright, I'm gonna leave. I have a long walk ahead of me. WHY ARE YOU TWO HERE AGAIN?! Uh, okay, what do you have to say? The town is rather small and unexpected, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. The simple folk and the more reliable ones. The former will tell you more than they know. The latter, you will. Oh, uh, hey! I... 
literally cannot see what that notification is because I can't move this freaking window to see on the chat stream what that is. So uh, if someone in chat wants to uh, tell me, because I can see chat right now, I can see that, what just uh, pinged my notification noise, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Fio, and thank you so much, Beanhole12, for following. I'm really glad you uh, are liking what you're seeing. Prepare for a lot more of me being very confused and upset at what the fuck is going on. Anyways. <laughs> um, there are all kinds of people here. This is a remarkable one. The former will tell you more than you know. The latter know way more than they're ever going to let out. Keep a close eye on them. Your victory depends on it. Who are these remarkable people? There are 20-something of them. Oh, God! Easily distinguished by their lodging or their presence. They're called by many names. The Bound, the Fated, the Adherence, the Gobos to Lorg. <laughs> yes, okay, Viv knows me. Welcome. We're all really confused. Yup, vaguely creeped out and concerned. This is a death cult. Oh, this is definitely a death cult. The town circle, Simon preferred their company to any other. Is that a sect or something? Are we in a cult? No, they... There used to be a pagan game called Taglore. A roundelay of sorts. A Taglore means a kin circle. And Gobo is a character from a local epic. And so the people that Simon was interested in the most are called the Gobo's Taglore. Some of them don't even know one another. Lovely. Because it is they that will decide the fate of the town. Don't be distracted by the fate that some by the fact that some of them look insignificant or disreputable. Uh, skin circle. <laughs> they will earn their worth, you just give them time. And they're the most important joints of the town. Why are you telling me all this? I was more interested for a second. <laughs> Each day, one of them will try death by the tooth. What the fuck? Each will put their life at risk, and each one dies that dies is important. Some of them may take the keys to victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours, which, while the grave is theirs. Others do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. Oh, hi, Sane! Welcome to the stream! And it's okay. It, it I've been playing for over an hour, and I still feel like it, I'm just, you know, got my toe in the door. Wondering at this point whether there are actual fair, paranatural or psychic phenomena going around, or whether these folks are explaining normal phenomena with these pen. I don't know. I do not know at all. How do you know what is helpful and what gets in the way? Okay, okay, all right. Dropping you more hints would be cheating. I am okay with cheating. Shutting up now. Please do not. Allow me to conclude then. Each bound you save will influence your final, the finale of your adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may so happen that those who seek a different ending survive and then, well, you've been warned. Have I? Have I really? And yes, I did remember to hit record. Okay, I'll take into account and I'll be careful. I don't you are taller than I remember. All right, let's go and talk to this guy. Hello, burning man. I'm also upset that you got me so hooked on Transistor. I'm legit doing a video now. It's upset, so. Do it! I I am hooked on Transistor as well. I am so in love with it. I, I've been spending the whole weekend, I spent like looking up, well, if I want to do this cosplay, I guess I would get this wig and I would need these references and all of that. Then we'll get the mass murder ending. We're probably gonna get some sort of horrible, horrible ending. If I can get to an ending. Um, there's something in particular, like, we feel the urge to warn you about. It is when you speak to the bound. Please choose your words carefully. 
Do not worry, you will easily be able to make out what kind of a person is standing before you, an observant man that you are. So use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with the utmost respect. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, no, uh, Theo needs to watch Last Part of the Trail, the trail, the video for Transistor, so that way I can fangirl and scream about it with her. <laughs> because, like, I know I've moved on to the next game, but Transistor, oh my god, it was so good! Uh, if you guys haven't done so, and you want to check out my uh, Transistor playthrough, it is all up on YouTube. It was amazing. Um, I really, really wish, uh, you know, I could be playing it for like six more streams because I would totally do that. Finish watching part six and your Para constantly. Yeah, Theo, better finish Para. Every line you utter will have consequences. News spreads rapidly around here. If you spoil your reputation in one place, you'll have to reap what you have sown in another. Restore your good name in the south and you'll receive a warmer welcome in the north. They will heed every word you say and you'll be rewarded. Uh, not by means of money, though. A handful of money. It's not a dialogue fee, don't get me wrong. Never refuse to take small sums of money from the bound. That would not belittle you in any fashion, but would rather demonstrate that you appreciate the local customs. I get paid to talk to people in this town? What the fuck is this place? Yeah, no. Like, if it involves the end, there's major spoilerage. Nice. I I'm glad you've been enjoying Pyre, because yeah, I'm, it's, it's by the same people as Transistor, and I'm definitely interested in it. I just, you know, we'll have to, uh finish this at the very least before it can go on the boat. Alright, I'll keep local customs in mind. How so? I'll just go with this one because I don't I don't get how so. Oh. And now you won't talk to me anymore. Alright, well Oh, it's interesting fashion, man. I'm ignoring you. I just heard dogs. Wait! What? Okay, there's a lot of interesting fashion peoples, because apparently that's the trend, is to have a loincloth. Right. I think this is where I needed to go. Interesting statues, it's very nice. Your place is lovely. That's a drop. Where the fuck am I? I went the wrong way! God, God damn it. Alright, let's go back. I think this is where that little intro thing those kids were rocking with that creepy doll. To the surprise of no one, JJ was lost. Yup! <laughs> I want a mini map really badly. And I got more money! People just leave money all over the place. They give me money for talking to them. They, they leave their money all over. I don't think these guys use money. I think that's what's going on. And so they just have it and they don't give a shit about it. I'm telling you, you can always live out your days as a bog man. I will take that under <laughs> serious consideration because this place does not sound the greatest. All right, let's uh quickly check the map. God, I still have so far to go. Just keep walking in this direction, hopefully. Yeah, could it be so rich? We can't get anyone to come to our the weird bridge. Put some money there, they'll come. God damn it, the fence has no opening. Am I- am I blocked in? No, I can get around at this corner. Good. The retail value on these homes must be terrible. Oh god. I mean, 
How much would you pay to live here? Not a lot on my part. This town's rather small. Bullshit. I say the same! Look at this guy. Fuck. Creepy ass fucking shit happening. Okay, this, this is a dead end. I need to turn around. Shit. I swear, I'm gonna spend most of this game just wandering around, missing all those missable events. It was like, ye old Silent Hill. That does not... I would believe that. And this is another dead end. That's definitely a cow skull. Fuck! Stop making missable events be missed! I, I'm... This town is big! The fuck is all that about? I found more money! Is there like... Nope, that crouch. There is no sprint function that I can figure out. Holy shit, I can fight! Oh yeah, reminding myself that I have stupid ass snake skin clothes. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. There's a jump. I don't think there's a run. Yeah, the dogs are great touch. Oh, we're so close. I think. I found more money. Why are these people just leaving so much money everywhere? Is it, is it this way? No, I passed it. Shit. Oh, fuck. There's a fucking gate. Fuck. No. Fuck. Um. Please stop with the creepy music. How do I get into your house? Not right now, doggies. I have to figure out how to get into this guy's house. Next stream, you should restart and try to do better with what you've learned about navigation. God, no. I already had to restart this. Aha! I have found the front door and these twins. Patrolman. A foul murder occurred here this night. No unauthorized access allowed. Inspecting the crime scene is strictly forbidden until further notice. <laughs> is this a bad dream or something? Can someone wake me up, please? Who was killed? Well, you're not a local, sir, so you're unlikely to understand the loss we suffered. Isidore Burka, a great surgeon. Uh, and now this guy's dead. Everyone I go to see is dead. They call me the Bachelor, and this is my traveling atmosphere band. <laughs> The Bachelor don't go nowhere without his atmosphere ban. Tom, get the piano player. <laughs> oh my god. The MC just drags a wagon. <laughs> the dogs in the orchestra follow you from a distance. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna go through this dialogue and find out about, you know, my dead friend and how I have no leads now. Great session, benefactor of us all, and all-around skilled doc. An outstanding man, beloved and well-respected by us locals. Does it really always have to take the very best? What a foul time to live in. I knew him. I am a doctor too. Whoever killed our only doc sh must surely- I JUST SAID I'M A DOCTOR AS WELL! Fuck you! Uh, must surely be looking to get us all killed. Isidore could cure anything. He also knew how to make cuts or incisions, because he was a warden. What? He knew his lines all right. What? Like I said, it all makes sense. Whoever killed Simon took Isidore's life too. <laughs> and this is merely the beginning. I think you need to calm down, sir. Officer, if you could just take a deep breath for a moment. Patrolman, the surgeon was murdered. If only you were here earlier. Like the time it would have taken someone to not get lost right behind the fucking fences. 
I think this is one of the translation errors they criticize in the reviews. I don't know. What makes you think these two cases are connected? Only the beginning, what makes you so sure? Let's go with this one. Well, uh, who would have the heart to attack such men? If you had asked me yesterday, I'd have told you no one would dare inflict such an ugly wound on this town. But if there is someone, it has to be just that, some one. Although it looks fishy if you ask me, that thing was no man, that's what I think. What thing? Did you see something? Is Yeah. These guys went from zero to like 100,000. Yeah. Yep. They definitely went pretty... They, they escalated things pretty quick. See, this murderous deal is all mysterious. There was a talon stuck in the victim's chest. Go ahead and bend your arm at the elbow, good sir. Yeah, like that. There you go. Bend your arm at the elbow? Okay. That's how long it was. Broke off. It broke off. Huh. So is he like saying it was it was this long? I don't know. Is it going to be a theme that you just missed the murder? Probably. A lot of games use that you just missed the murder kind of thing. Um, there was dust on the floor for the deceased had been a renowned step walker and the dust was all covered in hoof steps and like traces of sharp bone, I guess. Hoof steps? Um, as if someone was using a walking stick around there. I'm telling you, it's her, the Shabnakadri, the clay man-eater. The what? I want to inspect the building. All right, enough of this. Is there is a simpler mind? I can sign to work. I want to, let's not insult the cops just yet. If only you knew people who had transportation. Like, wait, he, he had a skateboard? <laughs> oh my god! I like it, or I'm bringing back those, uh, the detention jokes. We've been assigned to this post by Alexander, the head of the Sabur Saburov family. His house is in decline right now, but it's still powerful and very much respected. For it is they that's been responsible for maintaining wor wordly... That's not worldly. That's wordly. Wordly order and public safety in the town since olden days. It was the best. Why don't we have way? Where we're so lost without way. <laughs> yup. Please kindly address your concerns to him. There's this raw. There's their rod. You just take the road up here and get to the cape. As for me, I'm not authorized to let you in. That's kind of rude, but okay. Uh, the rod, blah, blah, blah. he's been murdered. Oh, sweet, I can zoom out. Oh, God. Why? It's so big. Why did they do this? What, what is this? It's like a yeah, it is a railway station. This is not nearly as ye old Russia as I thought. I mean, I guess, yeah, if you think about this in terms of the real world, this is a small town. But in terms of a video game, this is not a small town at all. Ugh. I'm going to be doing so much walking. I'm going to be in the shape of my life. Everyone who shouldn't die. And I might be wasting time right now looking at the map. I don't know if time progresses while I'm in the map. Uh, do -do -do. It was murdered. The local authorities have sealed the house. All right. Oh, hey, there's a fire. And the fire stopped, so I think when I have this open, it's... Um... It's time is stopped, which is good. Yeah, I'm going to check out the fire. What the fuck, people? What? This is not cool. It 
Excuse me! Ex excuse Oh, that's the jump button. The f oh dear, oh dear, what have you done? How is it? It was no shabunk. It was that was a girl, a living girl. Find yourself in her place as soon as a day, get lost, never say. Okay, wait, what? Wait! What? Okay. I'm gonna save my game. And now I'm gonna go jump in the fire because fuck this shit. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> cannot burn myself. I'm gonna call the stream there. I know this is a little bit shorter than the usual two hours. In just enjoy fire. Um, <laughs> but yeah, apparently I'm fireproof. Um. I have no idea what's going on. We'll have to go check out and figure out what the shit we should be doing next time. Uh, thank you everyone who came in the chat to help me also say that, you know, what the fuck is going on other than a cult. This is totally a cult. I'm calling it now. There's a cult. Um, yeah, kind of a short stream. But not like, you know, too short. So, uh, thank you everyone who's watching this on YouTube, thank you everyone who's watching this here on Twitch, thank you everyone who talked in, uh, the chat with me. It has been amazing to have you all. I'm going to now do a thing that's probably gonna cause the game to freak the freak out, maybe. Um, but yeah, I will try to get this uploaded on YouTube, and you can watch me pick up from this point at, uh... Herbiter. I forgot what the day is called. Wednesday! I had absolutely no idea what that day was called for a second. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop streaming now. But uh yeah, I will pick this up on Wednesday. Bye-bye!